athlete at the Olympic Games, and that man right there has one to prove, and he looked great in his semifinal. Sam Girard also looking very good in his semifinal, coming through in strong fashion. He was bronze overall at the 2017 World Championships. He would like to improve the color of that medal. The ever charismatic Liu Shaolin Sandor in this final as well. And Dennis. he was fifth in the 1500 meters. And there is Dennis Nakisha of Kazakhstan. He won a 500 meter race at the World Cup last season. Six in the relay at the Olympics. And just being introduced and getting a real loud roar of approval from this crowd here at the Maurice Richard is Shaw Amlan. Charles, already a legend of the sport and obviously a legend for the home fans at Maurice Richard. Can he add to that treasure chest of gold medals? The last Canadian to win the overall title at the Worlds is Marc Gagnon, and he won four overall world titles. Shaw Amlin looking for his first. Amlin and Sam Girard, the two Canadians in this men's 1500 meter final, 13 and a half laps. A little bit of a quicker start in this one than we've seen on some of the other races, and that is likely because of the weight of this race, World Championship Final, and Lim Ho Jun choosing a little bit of a different strategy, deciding to go to the front and patrol from there. Char Lam Le, very relaxed in second. That's a good position from him. Let's see if he can maintain that patience and that relaxation through the middle part of the race when passes start to happen. The big Hungarian Lou is putting on some pressure and he takes over the lead. The two Canadians nicely positioned at this point in the men's 1500. Important for Sam Girard not to get caught up on the outside, skating extra distance here. He needs to decide, am I gonna finish this pass or am I gonna set back into the pack? It is still Liu Shalin Sandor of Hungary in front, not hard to mistake him. He's the tallest skater in the field, followed by the Korean Lim. And then it is Shaw Amlan sitting in third spot in this final. Seven laps to go, the men's 1500. And at the midpoint of the race, this is the position that we as skaters, and I'm sure Shaw Amlan's coaches like to see him more relaxed, now deciding he should move, but Liu Shaolin Sandor not giving up his spot easily. That's a long way to go on the outside at this point in the race. Five laps to go now in the men's final at the 1500. Tight pass there by Liu Shaolin Sandor, opening the door by Lim, and now Charles Lam able to take advantage of that slight bump that caused Lim to go wide, and he is truly in a perfect position for an attack here. Traditionally, Charles Amelin would attack very early, but now you can see he almost hesitated there, deciding to stay in second. And now Amelin makes his move. He takes the lead on the Hungarian. And he's Amelin in front, the Hungarian second. Now here comes Lim, the Korean, trying to move on the inside. He does, but it's still Amelin in front. Final lap, men's 1,500 meters. Amelin in front. Amelin driving to the line. Amelin takes the gold in the men's 1,500. Lin of Korea is second, Ellis Stratoff of Russia finishes third, but the gold and the world title once again goes to Shaw Emlin. Sam Girard could be in some kind of penalty difficulty in this race. Beautiful race for Shaw Emlin, very patient as you mentioned, Sam Girard, a bit of desperation coming into that last lap, diving in and trying to make a pass. But what can we say about that man? A very tough Olympics for him. Comes home, says he's gonna be back, and takes home a beautiful victory. Watch him work on the outside here. This is where he decided, okay, no, no. I'll be patient. I'll save my legs and my gunpowder for the end. And then he took advantage of that little slip there by Lim Hojun to move into second smoothly and then attack towards the end. V really, a textbook race by Charlemagne, not unlike the race he did in the World Cup in Seoul earlier this season, where he won that race. These are his two victories so far this season, and really, 
You couldn't hope for a better way to start off this World Championships and his potential chance for that first elusive overall title. That was vintage shot.